Here we go again with another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 apps this week, number 336. Every day of the week, you know I'm a tech freak. I go and go and get you like a nerd, like a geek. Well, what do you know? It's the Cool Loser for show, so let's do it to it. As always, started off with the wallpaper. Now these are all high quality. We can open up the categories and we can see how much we can choose from a lot. You can see how many likes these pictures have. This is the picture that we'll be able to save. Looks pretty cool. You got cool looking material designs here. Once you're ready, press set a wallpaper. You can download them and use them. This is the one I chose, black and yellow. Looks great. Lots of wallpapers in there for you. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have app of the day. Just by having this application installed, you'll get one paid app for free a day. So you save money. And trust me, when you have this application installed, if there's pro features in the free app, you'll get to unlock the pro features for free because you have app of the day. It doesn't waste any space or take any CPU or anything. Just keep it installed. You see how much I've saved just for having this application. It's great. Go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Doze. Now this is a feature that you'll see on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. If you're not on it, well you can get those type of features on your 5.0 and below. So what this does, when screen is off, Doze prevents apps from connecting to the internet for power saving. And then you can whitelist which applications you want to disable so that you can still get notifications coming in through them. Right now it's in Doze mode, so let's turn it back on. And you will see, hey, you're back. Your phone has been in Doze for a while. It's meant to save you lots of batteries if you want to quit it. Just put yes, quick. It's a really cool application. Go try it out for yourself. Next up, we have Quick Shortcut. This application is simple to create applications to right where you need to be. Let's go to YouTube. Now on YouTube, we have a lot of different apps that it's showing because they have different type of shortcuts to go to. If you click on this, try and if it launches out to your subscriptions. That is a quick subscription button that I jump to. Uh, not all of them will work because they're not meant to do certain things. But click on it and now there's enter pairing mode. There's you can change the icon. So in case you want to have multiple ones for a certain application. You see I have two different Twitters here. I'm going to click on Twitter and it goes right to my profile. But now I'm going to click on this Twitter and it'll go right to my DM. That's the beauty of creating your own shortcut. So go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Call Pop Out. Instead of getting a disruptive call, take you out of the app or the game, maybe you have an older phone, or you just want a different type of look. You can position where you want the pop to come up. You can see the head size is large or small and the board is blue. But I'm going to press preview. So when you get a call, you're going to get a notification just like this. And you can still be playing your game, watching your movies, in your application. And if you select it, you got a dismiss, you got silence, you got another dismiss, and then you got the answer. So if you go to answer, you got this call, so we're going to press end. And that's the end. You can choose what apps you don't want it to open up in for sure, which ones you do need it to go on. It's one of those apps that are useful, so go try it out for yourself. Here next we have universal copy. A universal copy is excellent. It does one thing. Make it know that I want to copy. Now if I want to copy this text right there, just select it, and then we press copy. Now that's copy to the clipboard. I will press paste and quick shortcut maker now this is easy to copy right just go here you click on that and you're ready to copy now if I want to copy this Amazon thing I can't you see that it won't copy it so I'm going to check that off let's prepare it and I'll select it I press copy and the text was copied from there let's check it out let's paste it paste and there we go message from Amazon stuff that you're not supposed to copy this will copy it all over way faster more convenient no problems go try it out for yourself here next we have yellow all right so this is another SMS application here this layout contains all your conversations and you have a lot of missed ones that you didn't notice you can click on the unread and you can see how many you've missed click on the next guy you can change it just a little bit click on your emojis you get the iOS type you also got the minions the smurfs and you got like Madagascar. Yeah, your groups, if you have a lot of group messages, you can make some of your contacts private so no one can click into them. Change your themes, theme mode, you wanna go day or night, we'll do night mode. Simple, easy application to tweak, and you can see that's the way it's gonna look like. So go try it out for yourself. Here next we have Screen Filter. This is one of my favorite applications that I've had for so, so long, and I wanted to bring it to you guys because I got a lot of new people, obviously, and maybe you guys forgot about it. Now I'm gonna go into Dim, and that's the dimmest my phone can get. But it gets dimmer when I click on that. Look at that, that's 
almost black. I can barely see it with my own eyes. The camera picks it up a little bit better. But you can edit of how low you want it to go so it doesn't go too dark. And so if you're using your phone at nighttime and your screen doesn't dim down as dark as you would want it to, you can click on that and it'll get even darker. Very useful, trust me. Next up we have Camcord. If you want to get into gaming and you want to stream what you're playing, a lot of people might want to watch you on Camcord. And this is live. They're playing Clash. Everyone can chat in here. You can send them gifts, follow them everywhere. The the video can still be streaming here as you're scrolling by. If you hold it here, you can go into the closing. You can connect to your computer. You don't have to just use it on your mobile phone. So if you want to try doing online streaming without having to worry about the connections of you know YouTube or other servers, you can do it all on your phone. There is uh, the Cool Loser here where you can follow me because I'm going to be trying to broadcast. I'm going to be out eating lunch and making some game review, a live event. Uh, you guys can make a lot of money on this and go try it out for yourself. And last but not least, we have Kit Kat Marshmallow Launcher. Scroll to the right on the left side we see a lot of toggles we can see what applications we open last we can put favorites here just click on if you don't want that you can disable it hold down onto it you see the edit mode apps the folders you can totally change to look different add your widget you also have gestures bring this down and your notification toggle will come down swipe up and you will go right to a certain application i use it to be a tweet it runs really smooth, you get all those animations with it to draw stuff. If you want to go into actual left, you can change the portrait, the landscape grid, transition animations. It's very similar to other launchers that you tweak with, so go try it out for yourself. So there you guys have it. These are the top 10 best apps this week, number 336 using my Nexus 6P. But I'm gonna wrap this up and start editing and hopefully I can edit this within like 45 minutes, hopefully. So you see it's 8.52. By the time it goes published and live for you to watch, you can see how long of a process it took me and I'm gonna do my best to edit and render as fast as I can. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Later.